magical ways to attract anything that you really want by talking to your holy guardian angel. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle and we're flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Hey, I want to remind you we're here every day. So be sure and click the bell icon so that you are reminded of our latest video because we want to help empower your life with the law of attraction. So. Before we get into this, I just want to share a brief story. Many years ago, I was in school and I was pulled out of school by a police officer and I was taken to jail. And they put me in this horrible, nasty, juvenile detention hall. It was like five by nine with about five people in there. It was scary. I was only in eighth grade. and. Uh, I didn't do it, by the way. I didn't, really. And I told Michael that. You see, I had developed a relationship with Michael the Archangel from about the age 12 on. And uh, I just had this incredible relationship with Michael. And I said, you know that I'm innocent. You know I don't belong here. So. I don't even want to spend one night. Well, dinner time came and then evening came and then lights out. And I was kind of disappointed. I fell asleep. And I was maybe asleep a half hour, 45 minutes. And I felt somebody tapping me on the shoulder and saying, hey, wake up, wake up. And I woke up, I looked around, nobody was there, everybody was asleep. And then all of a sudden I heard keys. Yes, back in them days they used keys. And I heard all these keys jangling and opening up the door. Zinc? Yeah, that's me. Come on, you're going home. We have new evidence that you are innocent. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry for the inconvenience, I spent a day in jail. But Michael had freed me. Oh, I was so excited. I never forgot. Your guardian angel high flyers will reveal its secrets to you and to anyone who dares to ask. Now, I don't know if guardian angels are real. To me, they are. My belief system is that they are real. But whether you believe that it's your higher self or whether you believe that it's um, source energy or the divine within you, it really doesn't make a difference. I call it a guardian angel because that's exactly what it did. Many years ago, I was in Las Vegas and I was getting ready to cross the street and I felt the hand push me back. And just at that moment, a car went speeding through the crosswalk at about 120 miles an hour. Had I not felt that hand push me back, I would have been toast. You see, I have always maintained that if you talk to your holy guardian angel, and you act as if they are real or an aspect of yourself, and it could be just your higher self. You can attract anything you want. I can't list for you the number of things that I've attracted into my life, but you have to tune in. You have to be in alignment with source energy, which means turning off the cell phone, turning off the television and the radio, quieting yourself down in your interior spirit and feeling that connection with source energy. And then at that moment, you can begin to call on your guardian angel to present itself. It's not going to show up 
with big wings in your front room. Well, it might, but not usually. Usually the, it's this it's this inner knowingness, this inner feeling that you're not alone. That there is something in the universe that is with you. That perhaps this is your higher self. Perhaps this is you at the highest version of who you are. But either way, it's real. And it has the ability to manifest love, money, happiness, health, recovery, whatever you desire. Anything. So High Flyers, when you take that time to connect with your higher self, with the universe, with your holy guardian angel, be clear, crystal clear about what you want. Know exactly what you desire. Put yourself in a calm environment. Put your, your mind in the right state. A state of openness. I am open. I trust. I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to hear things that I may not agree with. But I'm willing to listen. And put your heart in a state of purity. If you've got, I want my guardian angel to go out and hurt somebody, or to do this, or get even, it's not going to happen. That's not the energy we're talking about. We're talking about pure love. We're talking about enlightenment. We're talking about energy vibrating so high that it can help you manifest anything you ask of it if you're in a pure heart, if your mind is clear, and if you're in a calm environment. Next, I think it's important to identify your holy guardian angel as the highest version of you. Perhaps it has a name. Perhaps it has an identity. Perhaps it has a symbol. It will reveal this information to you so that you're going through the day and all of a sudden you see 333 and you know that you need to get home because your holy guardian angel has a message for you. I know when I see the number 333, three, three, I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night. I look at the clock. 333. Three, three, and I know that my guardian angel has a message for me. And I listen. I close my eyes. I listen. I may be half asleep but I'm awake enough to know what the message is and to remember it in the morning. And then the next thing is to take inspired action. You see, when you take inspired action, you're working from the spirit on down. Follow your intuition. When you follow your intuition, High Flyers, that's your holy guardian angel speaking to you through your subconscious mind. I want to tell you that you have no limits. You have no boundaries. I'm asking you to connect with your guardian angel. To give it a try. To open up your heart to it and your mind. You're going to be absolutely astonished at all the wonderful things that come flowing into your life. Here's some other videos to help you on your journey. And thanks for subscribing.